At the mouth of Weeks Bay, a curtain of fog lifts and reveals a sailboat that is slowly being claimed by the water. In Lillian, a center console boat sits just below the surface of Perdido Bay. And in Bon Secours, a sailboat, abandoned two years ago, has begun moving into the middle of the river. If you're not going to use it anymore, well, sell it, donate it. Uh, there's somebody out there I'm sure that could use it. Uh, I'm sure that would love to have it. That's what boat owner Michael Hayes would do. There is a law passed in 2018 that allows Alia to remove the boats, but it was never funded. State Senator Chris Elliott says money is now on the way in the form of a grant from the federal government. It is the, the state's hope that Alia uh, will get this grant and start removing the over 45 identified geolocated vessels that are out there that we know we need to get rid of. And starting this year, $80,000 a year from the State Department of Conservation has been designated for the removal of boats. That funding is in the bank account of the county commission right now, uh, ready to go. For folks like Penny Eilert, who has a sailboat now threatening her property, it can't happen soon enough. I just would like some action. It's moving at the speed of government, but the end is near. Uh, the funding is coming from the feds, and then we've secured the, the annualized funding to make sure we, we fix the problem, but then stay on top of it moving forward. Navigating governmental waters has always been a little tricky, but the tide seems to be changing, and hopefully smooth sailing is ahead. And that grant from NOAA could come at any time, we're told, and then it's just a matter of the state hiring a contractor to come and get those 45 boats. On the Baldwin County Beat, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.